Yeah, you can send someone to a payphone and be like, be at this phone at like 1 p.m. It's going to ring. That's untraceable. And I'll give you your next instructions. All right, we have Mason and McLeod up next. Speaking of which, something. Speaking of something, we got another SA special. Quick, Jordy, Ice Climbers or Zelda? Who's going to play? He's going to play Ice Climbers, man. If you play Zelda, maybe game two. I just so hope we got Mason's heart is in this one. Ooh, we're praying for a Mason Hart esque run. Can, yeah, Even though, according to the chat, he's already lost to Benji, which is an upset. Oh, Benji beat Mason? That's kind reportedly, of reportedly, according to, to uh, someone in the chat. Looks like they're just playing. So I think they're off to the races. This is a classic grand finals these days at uh, EVAC, from what I've seen. Mason, you might know him as Grim Tuesday back in the day. Very old school Ice Climbers player. Was a wobbler once upon a time. You know, if he doesn't mind me saying, but now he's a skilled handoff technical ice climbers. And uh, he's got to play potentially the one guy in the venue he has very little chance of beating. <laughs> the, the best Princess Peach in the country, McLeod. On the frame one. Frame one light. Frame one. Okay, the Box Peach, nice. very strong. Yeah, doesn't get to Nana in time for the up B. And now Nana being bullied. That's crazy that the cloud knows to not reverse. Like that nail looked like it was going to reverse. Mm. Cloud's got the knew. drift on lock. Yeah, McLeod, You know how can you not have the drift on lock when you're this practiced? Oh, yeah. McLeod is the most grindiest of grinders who ever grinded out this game in Australia. It's so awesome. I play McLeod maybe like once every like four to six months or whatever, and we have like a barn burner like 90 minute session. Yeah. And he's like, dude, that was awesome. We got to play so much more. We DM you for games. He always and then says he that. Never does. <laughs> that to me as well. He's like, you got way better, man. It is sweet to play him, though. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a very kind, melee soul. He's a guy that looks at the screen, and that's uh, a rarity these days. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, don't know what that means. He could be looking at the screen, though. He, he looks at the game, and he responds accordingly. Ah, I feel you. I feel you. Man. Oh, he goes for the minimum amount of, uh, the maximum amount of wobbles into the handoff, gets the RNG off Nana Forward Throw, but McLeod mashing out. Is the, um, like a typist. Is the version of Melee we play in tournament, is that the one where they've hard coded, uh. I actually don't know if this is like hard coded no wobbling or if it's just the rule is the rule. Yeah. Like, did you accidentally uh, do? We do have the proper cone set, right, well, there you so go. Nice. Mason has practiced the correct amount of pummels. There you go. Sweet. I think it's like four. Yeah, I believe so. So he's always going to be hitting the maximum amount of warps before he's allowed to, uh, you know, before he's disallowed. This is, uh, uh -oh. I looked away. Why is this two stocks to two? Funny face. Dude, uh, you know, Mason hit some <laughs> bomb ass forward smash. Oh, he's got it. He picks it up. Oh, so great. oh my. And he hits and he's it. got it. Another one's going to, you know, you got to DI the okay. next one. Okay. Mason's he's still got something out fight. of it. He's fighting. This popo is getting crazy with Doing it. Oh, he, I think he jumped. Yeah, he's got a side B. The back air always minimum trades there. With pretty lenient timing. You know, you know who's beast at killing uh, Peach with Popo is Chudat. Chudat is the best Sopo who ever damn did it. He uh, he was catching Armada with down throw up smash. Yeah, that's fake though. Yeah. I remember Chudat analyzed that set on stream and he was like, "This is fake," but I had to do it or else I would have lost. But I'm yeah, like, but do you think he hit him with a lot? He did do it quite a bit. Do you think McLeod knows? The DI almost certainly. These guys play a lot. Oh uh, yeah. And like on a, you know, on box man, you're hitting the DI yeah. if, if you know to hit it. This is really tough now. Like Sopo past a hundred, like four throw is going to set up for a nasty edge guard. Yeah, yeah, catches the slide off. All right, all right. That's for the kill. For the big kill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah. Alright, FD, the counter pick of choice. I'm surprised McLeod didn't ban FD. I feel like this is Ice Climber's uh, only stage yeah, yeah, yeah. where they can really do anything, especially in this matchup. So we've got to see what McLeod's got. Yeah, I wonder what the ban was for... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, Mason does particularly well on, like, Yobbies or something. Yeah. All I know is that you gotta as, as the climbers, does. you really got to dodge uh, Dreamland. Yeah. According to to Chudat, speaking of Chudat, he always says like, "Yeah, Dreamland is like unwinnable." Mm. 
She can just get away so fast. Yeah, I can just kind of tank the side B. Okay, Mason's got something here. Okay, interesting. Comes out, yeah, coming out with Blizzard, kind of a weird option, but it's out for so long. Lives that. Correct the eye. Dude, Mason's moving. Oh my. And the Cloud's kind of trying to force the issue. Uh, yeah. Bit too close to the sun. This time though, I think she's just yeah, she's just gonna nah. Reverse nah. I don't know a, a single move that beats Peach's reverse. Nah. <laughs> There's gotta be a few, like Mark, but yeah, like man, that is that is some big stuff. Big split up here. Yeah, the huge split. A lot of damage on Nana. That bait though, McLeod whiffed the back air to like to bait Mason into doing a move, and then just smacks Nana up for the kill. Brutal stock. You got a side B again. Does sneak past this time. If the cloud's sleeping at the wheel, Mashes had an up smash. Mason's defense is really impressive, I gotta say. Like, he's rolling in, in really clutch spots, but I mean, against Peach, it's like she covers rolls so well. I mean, ultimately, you're just putting yourself back in a mix up situation. Oh my. There it is. Finds the up caught smash. Got the, uh, the hand on the turn of throw. Nice stuff. Oh, Nana. Getting some damage. Shield's not looking too good. A big down ah. smash is... Oh, it doesn't go for Nana. Yeah, she didn't, uh, yeah, she didn't recognize. Maybe she thought uh, Nana had uh, bummed the jump. It did look a little bit like she jumped before before uh, yeah. she got hit. Still oh my god, just the sand. <laughs> the Peach multi-shine, just there a bunch. Huh. Mason dips low. The belay gets it done. But, ah, but no, big forward air. Seals Nana away. Okay, oh, wait oh, a no. minute. He did too low. That's Mason back. <laughs> There's a I, big grin on his face for that one. That that was the most confusing edge guard I've seen, I think. Oh, the damage? Imagine. Riling up? Three smash attacks in a row? Yeah, waited out. Really nice yeah, delay, but slightly too low to sneak on stage. So rough when you hit the edge of the stages, Ice Climbers. Yeah. It just looks like you should make it back on. Oh, there's a funny face. The second of the funniest faces. Nana picks it up, though. Oh, she she lost back. it at some point. Okay, big dammy. Yeah, we love that. That's just used to the double forward smash. And the Cloud's getting a lot of value off these, like, drift back, like, forward air as much as recovery. Yeah, I mean, it really is hard to deal with the Climbers. They have to commit, and when you try to commit, you get Ned. And I reckon that's it. I reckon Mason knows it. The Cloud. Yeah. Ooh. Locked in, she's so locked in. Mm. Even when the set was over, she it took like, her a, took her a minute to snap again. back to reality. Again. Yeah. Next game. So yeah. used the three hour friendly sessions. <laughs> three hour grand finals. Yeah. <laughs> it's very rare for so, these oh. two to be playing at best of the three, I think. Swag. Oh yeah, love